guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. Today I'm going to be doing an apartment tour. We have been living here for way under a year, probably like mm, seven or eight months. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know that I still live with my parents. I went to college and came back and we have been living here for, I guess, over a year now, almost two. So we live in my parents' basement. We have 700 square feet of finished space and we actually redid it this past winter to make it our own. And I will insert pictures of some before and after. We absolutely love it. Just a disclaimer, we do not have a kitchen. We share one with my parents. So this is not like a full apartment, but we consider it our apartment. It's more than a bedroom, so. Um, if you are new as well and you don't know, I live with my boyfriend Alex. We are both full-time college students. We work part-time. We have a rabbit. He is our pet. He's a free roam rabbit, so you'll be able to tell. He doesn't have a cage. Um, if you see random little poops on the floor, we have a rabbit. They're not gross. They're dry. If you if you don't know rabbits, it, sound, it seems weird, but it's not, it's not weird. Um, I tried not to style the apartment. I wanted it to look basically how it looks every day. I don't see the point in like faking that like there's not like a random stuffed animal that doesn't match the vibe like in the room, you know? So it's actually decorated for fall right now. So this is not exactly what it looks like all the time. However, I figured like it doesn't look that different than it normally looks. So we're just gonna do it and stop thinking about it so much. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the tour. So I'm actually gonna start you guys from what is our front door and then move in a circle so that I don't make anybody too dizzy. So this is the front door to the basement. This is actually not the door that we use, but our friends use this door to come in. A couple of our friends actually have keys to this door. So when we have friends over, they come straight to the basement so they don't have to come through like my parents' part of the house. We actually frosted the glass because I just don't like that people can look in. Like I watch too much true crime to be okay with that. So next to the door, there's like a little light switch to outside. And then this cute little sign that says Wi-Fi is on the house. And then I got this funny doormat from Etsy, I believe. A lot of people have this doormat. Um, my dad, Alex has like, it just looks unfortunate because Alex's last name is Tran. Like it would be cuter if he had a different last name and instead it kind of looks confusing. However, it's so cute and I really like it. So it just says the trans eventually, he just hasn't asked yet. And then moving right to the left of the door is our living area. We actually put this as a bunny free zone. A lot of bunny owners do this. It's just because like, it's nice to have one spot in your house where you don't have to completely bunny proof everything. And there's so many cords behind this TV that it's just safer because he likes to chew on stuff. So this is our mini living room it's super cute this couch actually pulls out into a full-size bed which we actually use quite a bit or rather sabrina uses quite a bit i do not use it because obviously i have a bed here but when we have friends over it's been nice especially like random times when like i don't know we have a game night or something and it runs late people can just stay here which has happened a couple of times the couch is from wayfair also under this shea shea's lounge part has storage um all the pillows are from target besides the two pumpkin pillows which are from tj maxx the blanket is from target this blanket is actually from costco my old roommate like told me that costco had the best blankets and she was right because that thing is soft so the rug is also from wayfair the majority of our furniture is from wayfair i'll let you know if it's different but if i don't say where it's from it's because it's from wayfair the side, the middle table doesn't have a ton of stuff on it. I just have a couple of coffee table books and some pumpkins. We, I wanted to get the Samsung frame TV, but those things are expensive. So this is a Samsung, but it's not the frame TV. On the top, this is kind of like our entertainment center. We have like all the consoles in the middle. And then on this side is full of games. And that side has candles and like extra Nintendo Switch stuff. So we keep a candle always on top. This one's actually my last summer candle. I'm trying to burn it out. Today's actually the first day of fall. So I'm trying to burn that out like before October. This print was actually given to me by my cousin Jessica for Christmas and I love it. These pumpkins were all from Target. They're ceramic and they're so cute. I got them this year. Our coasters are from Amazon and I think they're super cute because they're like woven. And then these two picture frames, I actually got on sale at Marshall's, like when we first moved down here. And I need to replace the pictures because those are old. I guess they're only a year old, but still seems old to me. 
And then this really cute light is from Target and the filament bulb is from Target as well actually. It did not come with a filament bulb, but guys, doing a filament bulb really changes the vibe of your lights. So if you have a glass light structure, totally recommend filament bulbs because they're really cute. And then these three frames are all from Marshall. Uh, no, they're from Home Goods. And these two are like printed on wood, but this is like an actual frame thing. So these two don't have glass on the sides. I really like these. We had like a hard time figuring out what we wanted to put here. And I mean, honestly, it's not like, like I wouldn't do this if I had like a full blown house because it's just not like totally my vibe, but it's enough of my vibe to keep it. Do you know what I mean? Behind the couch is where I keep my bike. I do not have a Peloton, but I use the Peloton app with my Echelon bike. And then that room is actually a family storage room. It's not finished area. Like it doesn't have flooring or anything. It's just literally a storage room. So we, that's not like our area. We don't go back there really. This is from Target. And it was actually supposed to go in the bathroom, but it was way too big for the bathroom. So it actually holds all of our snacks and water bottles and stuff like that. The light is also from Wayfair. And then we have like a couple like fall decor pieces along with some Oreos apparently. Um, but we keep our change jar and a picture of Archie up there. And this little cute painting, or actually I guess it's a print, is from Redbubble and the frame is from Michaels. It is like, I don't know. It reminded me of Michigan like the sand dunes there, so that's why I bought it. This side table is from Home Goods, and all of the decorations on top are also from Home Goods. These are obviously not there all the time. Normally we have a coffee table book and like a little fake plant, but it's Halloween, so it's super cute. Actually, Archie loves to nap under it. It's like his favorite place to nap ever. So yeah, it's kind of his little napping table. Um, he's currently eating hay off the floor, but. Archie has his little cozy castle and a litter box next to his favorite person, which moves us into our office area. This is Alex's side, if you can't tell. And this is my side. I'm not gonna go into Alex's side because obviously that's like his business, his stuff to share. But my side is a lot less tech oriented than his. Um, I just have a computer with a stand and then like all my planner stuff and a pumpkin spice latte. Actually, no. That's a chai latte with pumpkin cream cold brew. Get on that wave, because it's so good. My top drawer is just stationary, and then this middle drawer is random stuff. Like, I have slime in here, and planner stickers. And then this drawer is all technology. It could be better organized, for sure. And this is all stationary stuff, and this is all school stuff. So, yeah, the whole desk was made um, of Ikea stuff, besides the chairs, which are Target. Somebody's on top of his Cozy's castle. But everything else is Ikea. In the middle, we have this rug that actually used to be upstairs. If you go back and look at old vlogs, you've probably seen it before. It is also from Wayfair. It's actually, the color of it has faded quite a bit since we've moved down here because it gets so much traffic on it. But this is Archie's carpet because he can't really run so fast on these floors. So he has his little buddy and his little tunnel for you know, playtime. So after this is like the hallway and those are the stairs upstairs and I'll go over this like last. But if you come this way, this is Archie's little, Alex forgot his water bottle for school, but this is literally just Archie's stuff. It holds all of his lit, well not his litter, his food, treats, litter box stuff, cleaner, all that. He has a treat holder up here as, lo as well as his nightlight that we turn on at night. This is my only, I think I own two things that Ray Dunn has made, and this is one of them. His air purifier, a speaker, and then, you know, we have hand sanitizer because COVID. As well as these two cute little pictures, which are from Target, which are super light. We hung them with command strips, which is awesome. We have a dehumidifier because we live in a basement. And then this is our room. There's two French doors that I didn't, like, close, but that's our room, which I will go over after this. And then this is like our little kitchen area. We obviously don't have a kitchen we share with my parents, but this top shelf is from Michael's. This is actually a Joanna Gaines thing, but I painted the white letters because it was just like etched and it didn't look good. And then we have pictures of our families and just random stuff. On the top, we like have a drying rack for water bottles and we have this fridge. We used to just have a mini fridge. And then my little Caroline told me about this Magic Chef fridge that has like a, a separate freezer, which is so clutch because we can keep ice. And then we have a separate fridge. So we don't keep a whole lot down here. It's mostly for Archie and for drinks. And then Archie has his own trash can because he, like when we dump litter out, he has to have his own trash can because it fills up so fast. 
Then this small one is actually an Amazon trash can and it has a separate trash and recycling part in it, which I really like. The last part of the main living space is this table and this painting. It's from Target. Everyone and their mother probably has it because we're not we're not special. The gingham table runner and the pumpkin stuff is obviously for fall. Generally, we have just like a normal blue table runner with some greenery in it. But the table is a bar size height, which I absolutely love because it takes up way less space. And if we really want to, we can pull this forward and then those two chairs can fit on the other side, which we've never really had to do except for when we do like when we have games and stuff. But yes, so that is our little dining area which we really honestly don't use for dining that much but we use it to sit and like do other things and then this little pillar is kind of weird it like juts out a little bit from the rest of the wall and we just keep schedules this is like our family calendar and then alex and i's school calendar and then we have a camera that shows the entire living room for when we're gone and we want to see archie I accidentally put the anchors way too high, so yeah, that's really cute. Love that for me. And then his electric pet feeder is from Amazon, courtesy of Len and the Bunny. She had this, and it's really clutch. So if you have a cat or a dog or anything, dry pellet food fits in there, and you can like program it to go off like ten or four times a day, which is great. And then obviously Archie just had his salad, so his bowl is down there, but normally it's not. We also do have to keep like extra drinks and stuff there just because we don't have enough room and we don't really have anywhere else to put them. So that's kind of an eyesore, but oh well, people live here. So this is our bedroom. It is separated by two really quite beautiful, if I do say, my, so, say so myself, French doors. And we honestly, in the humidity though, they kind of stick like it's hard to close them at night. But if you guys have followed me since we lived upstairs, you know that this is quite small compared to my old room, but we gave up a small room, and this is still much bigger than a lot of rooms, we gave up a small room to have a huge living space, so I'm going to take you around and obviously show you in all the drawers, because that's what I come, like, for tours, that's what I come to see. So these square photos are mixed tiles. I'm sure you guys have seen ads for them. A bunch of other people use them as well. You can pull these clean off the wall and stick them a bunch of different places. So we have them basically everywhere because they're so cute and they're like great little ways to add color to the wall so that is actually from the target for vineyard vines collection and the dresser is ikea we bought it like three years ago and it is soft wood and it's ikea so it is chipping quite a bit but it's beautiful and we'll probably use it for as long as possible because honestly i really like it so it's a double dresser you can get it in a single so like half of one so this side's alex's and this side's mine Alex's drawers I'm not going to go through because that's not my job, but he has shirts, pants, underwear, and socks. And then my drawers, I keep my PJs here, and then, like, underwear and socks here. And then this middle drawer is literally just, at, like, active wear. So these are all active tops, shorts, and sports bras. And then the bottom, I keep sweaters and like random stuff like t-shirts and stuff like that but this whole side is sweaters under this isn't the cutest but i do my at-home workouts in here so i have like my yoga blocks my weights and all that under here this rug is so soft and it was actually going to go in the living room but we actually liked it in here better so it's really fuzzy really soft super cute and it's like very tempting to lay on like all the time and then this rug is also these are both Wayfair rugs, and I thought that the prints would, like, clash, but honestly, they don't really. This one's not as soft, but still super cute. So this is, like, the little... This wall just has a mirror and a little fake plant on it. This wall I actually did myself. I actually dropped a camera, like, on the wall, like, my tripod, and it scraped, which was really annoying. But wallpaper like this costs, like, 200 up, like upwards of $200, and I just did this with a straight edge and some paint with my friend Chrissy, and it looks exactly the same and I really like it. It gives it like a boho Scandinavian vibe. I would say this half of the room very Scandinavian. Um, the chair and the poof also make it very Scandinavian. And we don't always have this many pillows and this many blankets on it. Also, this is Alex's sweater. But this is like the reject chair. Everyone has one, you know, like when you don't have space for stuff, you just throw stuff on the chair. So, yes. Also because of like fall decor. We have some pillow extra pillows and then we have three more mixed tiles going up the wall You guys have seen me film a few videos like here like this And then you can see me and Chrissy's like feet in it 
which whatever and then in the before and after pictures you guys saw that this was a like wet bar with a sink and now it's a full closet so Alex and I used to share a closet half of the size with just one bar on it so this is definitely an upgrade I put command hooks on the door so we each have one to hang like whatever we want on it and then I have a double hang so these are all my long sleeve sweaters all my pants are here like jeans shorts leggings my Poshmark stuff we have a couple suitcases down here and all my shoes in the middle more of my shoes and some t-shirts and our hamper and then Alex has pants sweaters and such and then you know shoes as well so yeah super cute oh we also have this really cool thing I'll show you this little hat holder you put one cap in it and it holds like 25 hats so that's really cute and we use that quite a bit I forgot what it's called I got it on Amazon though very clutch so then this part is the bed, obviously. Our bed is Ethan Allen, which is like an expensive brand that is like, I don't know. My parents bought this bed for themselves and then they upgraded. So we got a new mattress and kept their bed frame because it's a perfect farmhouse vibe. That is from Home Goods, and the wreaths are from Home Goods as well. So this side's Alex's, this side's mine, and the nightstands match the dresser, which is also from IKEA. Um, I'm not really big into keeping stuffed animals, but the bottom has like s sentimental stuffed animals and then we each have like books on our nightstand as long as, as well as our little white noise machines and our, our pillows and all the bedding the sheets and everything like that are from Target and the sh like actual comforters are from the company store we, we used to have like a throw blanket that went on here, but I don't know. It didn't really add that much, so whatever. And then obviously you yeah, have the same thing on my side. I have a different basket. And we really don't keep stuff in here. I think I have, yeah, like random stuff. But the lights also have filament bulbs, and all the lights in here are Amazon bulbs. So, yeah. All of these built-ins were here before, and they just have... I just styled them with different stuff, like books and pictures and stuff. This one is like my actual like lotion, deodorant, and all that. And here is all one thing. It looks separate, but it's not. So these are all just bags. This is like Alex's computer stuff, extra vibes. And then I styled the middle. This is our old TV. And then this was above our bed upstairs, if you guys remember. And then in here is all of my camera equipment. Literally this whole thing, like the drone and all that. And here is like sentimental stuff. And files, like memory boxes, extra decor, files, stuff like that. And then, of course, this whole side is also styled as well. So when you come out of our room, you kind of go this way into this hallway. This hallway is like the main hallway we use to go upstairs. And we use this like to exit because we don't use the back entrance. So again, we have a bunch more mixed tiles up here. Super cute. This is the utility closet, so there's nothing good in there. And this is actually the family pantry, so our pa my parents do come down here to put stuff in the pantry. It's like all of our food storage, literally. So this left side, though, the bottom side is all of my cleaning supplies. And this is, these like bottom two are ours. But boring stuff. This really beautiful rug was actually super inexpensive on Wayfair. And of course people are banging upstairs because they're, the house cleaners are here, I think, and they're cleaning. So, sorry about that. But this is actually Archie's room. So he has his own little room. We keep his litter box and all that good stuff here. We close this gate at night. And he has his water and a litter box. And this is name signs from Etsy. And I made these little foam puff puff ball things. So cute. He has a little shelf with his Peppa Pigs and a picture of himself because, you know, um, Sabrina actually drew that and his room is quite large like I could lay in this room and be like my feet would only come to like here and there's still all this room so he has plenty of space and he still gets bored but he doesn't like toys so if you're a bunny parent and you have any tips for me I'd appreciate them he likes those little small pet select treat mobile things and then over here is our little entryway. This table is super skinny, which I love. Um, and we just keep like letters. This is the only other Ray Dunn thing that I own. My biggest flex. We have a little pumpkin for fall and a picture of Archie. And then this geometric -y mirror is from Home Goods as well. 
and these four hooks we installed ourselves, which are not the cutest, but we needed them. We actually picked the carpet out ourselves for this area of the house, and this table is actually upstairs as well. This area is just really empty with no table, so we put a table in here, has some fall decor, and then more mixed tiles, and a thing that Sabrina drew me as well, or like painted me. So when you come here is our bathroom, and we did the bathroom renovation part ourselves. Bathroom renovations are super, super expensive, and we just like didn't want to do it. Um, my dad gave us a budget to redo the basement, and the if we just did this, this would have literally been the entire budget. So we did it ourselves, AKA the reason why the toilet and the shower are this ugly brown color, as well as the countertop. But everything else is super cute, so just ignore it. <laughs> um, the shower has a tension rod and we leave it open a lot of the time just because it like I don't want there to be like mildew growth and stuff in there but we close it when like guests are coming or stuff and stuff but like we do keep it open and then all of the I guess there's like all the like bath mats and stuff are from Pottery Barn the flooring are called is from a company called Wall Pops but it's like floor pops I love these floors they're super cute the durability I would say is like subpar but honestly, for like a low traffic area like the bathroom, it's fine. Obviously, the toilet. And then we have floating shelves. All the decor on the top shelf is actually from Marshalls and was in our old bathroom. And then this have a nice poop sign and all that jazz. Actually, that's from Etsy and those are from Target. We painted, we put a new light fixture in and we painted the mirror frame. And we just have like stuff in there. But... We also painted this because it was an off-white color and we changed the handles to match the handles in the bedroom. I'm realizing now that they're off, but that's not our fault. They were like that, but cute, good to know. Up here, this painting is actually here when we already, like when we moved down here from when my mom had this as the guest bathroom, but it matched the vibe, so we kept it. And then towels, obviously. And this really ugly cap cabinet just holds like nail polish, extra bathroom stuff. And acetone actually stained that, which is super cute. So that was our little apartment tour. We are so glad that you came to join us. If you guys enjoyed or had any questions about what I, where anything is from, let me know. This is a lot of stuff to just link, but let me know if you guys have any specific questions and I'll get back to you in the comments. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.